Hello everybody, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about the directional combinations in the branches. Now the directional combinations are defined by compass directions. And there is, when we talk about directional combinations, these are only in the branches. There's no such thing as a directional combination in the stems. So just so that part is clear. Now, there are three branches that are involved in any directional combination. There's four different ones. They do not need to be adjacent in your chart, but you must have all three if you want that to be a permanent thing in your chart. So these are the sets of the three branches. You have the tiger, the rabbit, and the dragon. This is the wood element, and it's associated with spring. Now, this is why some people call this a seasonal combination. And you could call it that if you like. Now, the rabbit, if you remember, has a yin wood as its um, main chi. And all of these have one of these elements that is listed here um, in its main chi. And so that kind of defines everything. And this is in the east in the 24 mountains, and these are the two animal signs that surround it. The fire element is associated with the snake, horse, and goat, and you would have to, again, have all three in the chart if you wanted this to be permanent. And the horse has the yin fire as its main chi, and the snake and the goat are the two elements, or the two animal signs that surround the horse in the 24 mountains. And then we have the monkey, rooster, dog, that represent, they create, I should say, metal, and that's associated with the autumn. And the rooster has yin metal, and the monkey and the dog, they also have metal in, uh, in theirs, of course, uh, but they surround the rooster. And the rooster's in the west, the horse is in the south, the rat is in the north, and the pig and the ox surround it, and the rat has yin water, is its, um, its uh, main chi, and so, that's associated with water and the winter. So this is how you can either call it seasonal or directional. It's um, pretty clear. Now, if you have such a chart, you are usually already quite strong in that element because these are all have water in it. These all have metal, these all have fire, and these all have wood. So you usually are going to be already quite strong. Now, uh, if your month is not involved, you might be a weak or a strong day master. And that will tell you whether or not your, um, uh, and, and also, of course, it depends on your day master, uh, whether or not this is favorable or unfavorable. So this is something that you really have to look at. Now, so if we go in more detail, these are the pillars or the what you would see in a BATSA chart for the different animal signs. For the wood combination, which is in the east, we have wood, wood, and wood. Now, the, these, the, the dragon, the dog, the goat, and the ox are called variably either graveyard. They're often called graveyard animals, but they could be called storage animals. They could be called tomb animals. These are all have a earth as their main chi, but they are in this group. Well, first off, because they're right next door, but also they have this, the proper sub chi. So this is the fire directional. We have the yang fire, the yin fire, and again, the yin fire. Very same thing. This is in the south. Now, this is in the 24 mountains I'm talking about. This doesesn't mean anything in reality, north, south, east, west. It's just the way this works. The metal combination uh, has yang metal, yin metal, and again, yin metal, same pattern. And the water is water, yang water, yin water, and again, yin water. So it has all the same pattern. And again, these all have earth as their main chi. The, you know, the dog, the dragon, the goat and the ox. Now, what the element that is in, I mean, it actually creates more of that same element. So whatever that element is, depends on your day master. So you're going to 
you notice that we don't have Earth here. Earth is not created by a combination. Um, that's just the way it is. Because Earth is in the center, and so it doesn't have a direction. So we have, uh, if you are a wood day master, wood, of course, is your companion. Fire is your output. Metal is uh, your influence. And water is your resources. And so forth. So with your fire, wood, you burn wood, so that's your resources. Fire is your companion. Metal is what you control, so it's your wealth. And again, this is what controls you, and so that's your influence. And these all work the same way. And I don't think there's any new things after that. But uh, so this is, this is the table you need to figure out uh, what's going on. Now, this could be, I mean, we just say here, wood, fire, metal, water. Is it yang or yin? Now, I'm not sure that this is guaranteed through every single school out there, but the polarity of the created element appears to depend on the month's pillar's polarity. So the month pillar's polarity is basically the, the polarity of the animal. I mean, if you have a yin animal, you're going to have a yin, yin stem. And if you have a yang animal, it's going to have a yang stem. So they're consistent. So this will be... Um, this will tell you whether or not this is uh, a yang or yin. So, for example, let's say you had an animal that was a yin animal and you had a yang wood day master. Well, the yin animal is your rob wealth. So you have to know which one's which. And I think these are all in the, this is the same polarity opposite, same opposite, same opposite, same opposite. Uh, that that's the pattern of all of this. So it should be easy for you to figure out. Now, here's the kicker. It depends on whether or not your day master is strong or weak, whether or not one of these guys is favorable to you or unfavorable. And of course, if it's a favorable thing, it's a positive combination. If it's unfavorable, it's a negative combination. So obviously, this is why we say a combination is not necessarily a positive thing. It can be quite negative. Now, so the way you determine this is pretty simple. If you have a strong day master and you can't get this information from Joey yet, but you can from the Batsa Calculator uh, .com site, it will tell you how strong your day master is, or you could figure it out on your own if you wanted to. Uh, but uh, you. For a strong day master, the favorable ones are output, wealth, and influence, and unfavorable are companion and resources. Opposite is true of the weak day master. It likes companion and resource, and the unfavorable ones are output, wealth, and influence. Super simple. Now, Joey Yap's free calculator doesn't state if you have a strong or weak day master unless they change it, but the free version of the Batsa Calculator website does. And they're pretty thorough, the Batsa calculator. They will tell you whether or not you're strong or weak by season. And then it will also tell you, looking at your overall chart, are you weak or strong? Or are you almost balanced? Or, or are you actually balanced? Now, it is not terribly clear which one you should take if, if the overall chart is balanced. I think you should then fall back to your um, by season. I have seen charts where the Day master by season is strong, but overall is weak. There, I'm not 100% sure which one to use. Um, Sometimes you can tell uh, by, um, by what activities seem to work best for you. And uh, this gets a bit complicated. You have to really understand what all these elements mean in terms of actions and activities. I can't really cover it here, but I have covered it in the past. And usually you can just Google this and figure it out. I mean, it's not like this is hidden information. But uh, otherwise, I would say fall back to what is your day master strength in terms of season, if it's not so clear. So if you happen to have a directional combination in your chart, this usually is already included in the elemental analysis. And that, I would say that's true of at least some free apps. Um, 
I, I think it's uh, I think it's true of, of, of Joey App and also the Batsa calculator. Uh, I, I can't say 100% for sure because, um, I mean, there is some ways I might be able to look up some things on how you create the elemental analysis uh, from the Batsa thing because they state people's names. Joey Hap just doesn't let this information out. I have no idea how he decides uh, because they're... They're, they're, they're fairly different. It's a little hard for me to decide which is which. I mean, how, how he decides on his elemental mass. It is different than Ken Lai or um, Joseph Year, which is the ones you get from the, um, uh, from the Batsa calculator. So, you know, I, I don't have a preference for any one of these. I would say that the only easy thing about Joey App is that he puts it in a way that's maybe a little easier to tell whether something's high or low, but that's it. Uh, beyond that, it's just a guess. I, I really don't know. Um, so that's just you know the way it is. And uh, and this is why so many people pay to get an analysis done because there's not enough consistency out there even in the free stuff. Now. And like I said, this depends on the master of school doing the analysis, whether or not, you know, this is included even. And I can't be absolutely certain that that's what happens with the BOTSA calculator because I have not paid for the, uh, for, uh, for the subscription, so I can't see the difference. But if somebody out there is, and you know this, one of these things to be true, I would love to hear it. Now, this kind of combination, a directional combination, cannot transform any heaven stems. So you don't have to worry about transformation, which makes this a lot easier to understand. As far as I know, the six harmony combination is the only branch combination that can create a transformation. There is a transformation possible in the heaven stems too. And that will come after I finish all the directional combinations uh, for the, I mean, all the all the branch combinations, because there are a lot more of them. Now, when two pillars in the six harmony uh, combination include the day pillar, this can have a really profound effect on the interpretation of the chart. And this is why uh, it is a really good idea to see what the Chinese Metasoft site says, because it uses at least some of the more common rules to tell you whether or not you have a transformational chart, because that will make a really, really, really big difference in the interpretation of your chart. And, and that's, of course, super true if it's the day master that gets transformed. And you can have other transformations, but I'm not sure that that is included in uh, the, um, uh, in, even in the Chinese Metasoft. Uh, it's really hard to find these charts, um, it's, you know, the transformational charts. So I gave up after a week of looking to try to figure other things out. I just concentrated on the day master. So now here is almost my chart. This part is my chart. This is a different hour. If I were born at a different hour, I would have the north directional combination, which would create water. Now you can already see that the water is pretty strong in this chart, and uh, and and that is true even on the different hour when I was born. Water is my biggest uh, element, and uh, uh, but this is a strong day master. And you, if you don't know how to do that, you can Google it. It's it's not terribly hard to know, and I've covered it before. Uh, and so, like I said, this is strong, and so this additional water is an unfavorable element. Now, it would allow me to be more flexible and adaptable, and also the day master of wood does need water, so it's maybe not as detrimental as it might otherwise be, but from uh, uh, looking at this, like on the Joey Yap analysis, uh, this would really increase the yin water in my chart, uh, if this were my chart, that is compared to my real chart. And, um, uh, and, and it 
puts both the yin water and the yang water in unhealthy high categories. Uh, right now, it's only the yang water that's uh, in an unhealthy high category. But, you know, since, again, wood does need water, it's not as bad as it could otherwise be. Now, the downside, if this were my chart, it's very likely I would just be daydreaming all the time. I would learn a lot of stuff and I would never apply anything. Uh, and so I'm really glad I don't have this chart. Uh, but it is, um, it, is, it is interesting that really your hour of birth can make a huge difference in your chart. So this is why you should do the best that you can to find out this information. Most, well... Not all places, but many places do write the hour of birth. Now, I do recommend that you find the solar time, and I've got a video that can help you figure that out, changing your local time to solar time. It's uh, um, a little complicated, but it, we can get it down to the minute. So uh, it's, um, I think it's worthwhile uh, because that can make a big difference in your personality too, especially when you look at uh, the Chimen uh, the Chimen chart, the uh, birth chart. Now, this is my actual chart. And so I have partially, I still have these two, but my hour is different. And uh, But this means that every rat year or a rat luck pillar, I will be more adaptable, more flexible. Uh, it might lead to new understanding. Um, and, but, and once that decade or the year is up, I would be able to apply what I've understood. So in some sense, the, it could be, depending on the situation, it could be better to have it only as a year or luck pillar rather than permanently. Because here I may have a year where I do a lot of learning and no application, but after that I start applying. So I, I definitely apply what I learn. I mean, it's not like I'm a, a daydreamer, even though my water is quite high. So, uh, but it, um, it doesn't seem to affect me uh, in a negative way. Uh, it just makes, uh, it makes it easier for me to understand things because I can look at it from so many different points of view. Now, I don't think I've found this necessarily to be the case that like during a rat year uh, that I've been more flexible, but in general, being flexible is in my nature because I have a decent amount of water. I mean, you know, it's like my high of my five elements, water is the highest. So I'm just generally very flexible anyway. Uh, I can adapt to new situations. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty chill, as uh, some people may say. I, mean, I don't get crazy when unusual things happen. Now, I'm not going to reach my rat luck pillar until I'm 92. So I don't even know if I'll be alive then, but uh, it, that should be an interesting, uh, an interesting uh, luck pillar if I'm still around. But I'm sure I'm not going to be working. Uh, this this business is takes up way too much time. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have a comment, you can leave one uh, or you can email me. Now I don't do bots of uh, consults because I don't know enough yet and I don't enjoy it and I'm busy enough already. Uh, but uh, if you have specific questions, um, I can try to answer them. Uh, but don't put your date and time of birth in the comments because everybody can read it and it's a really good way to have your identity stolen. Now, if you found this information useful, I would really appreciate it if you donate a dollar or two at my coffee store, which is listed right here, so that I can take more classes. I would like to take a Z-Way Dosho class, which I will never do Z-Way Dosho either, but I'm doing this to teach you guys. Uh, you know, I, I do enjoy teaching, and that's why I would like to learn more. I've actually learned how to create a Z-Way Dosho chart, but I don't really know how to interpret it, and that's why I want to take the class. So uh, it would be similar to this, where I would, after I've absorbed the information, I would start creating videos. And, uh, and I don't put ads on my videos because I don't want to waste your time. So uh, this is why I, I mean, 
your time is more precious than a stupid video. And uh, uh, so this is why I don't do yet another reason why I don't do um, ads. But this is why I would like to ask for a little bit of money from you guys so that I can take the class because I'm not going to do what I just did. I have put my year's profit from my business into taking the class and uh, the BATSA class. And I have not gotten any new money from anybody. I have, I do have people that give regularly, but they haven't changed. And I'm very thankful to them. But, uh, you know, I would have thought I would have had somebody give a, at least a tip or two. But, you know, I won't take the Z-Way Doshu class until I already have the money. Just to let you know. Thanks again for watching.